Welcome to this short video on how to use Blackboard 9. Lakeland Community College is switching over to the new version of Blackboard, version 9, on December 21st, 2009. After that point, the Blackboard links on the main Lakeland homepage will point to this login screen. As a student, you log in just as you have before with the first part of your Lakeland email address and the password, which is your LID number. The main Blackboard page looks much as it has in the past. You still see the list of courses in which you are enrolled. And something new is the What's New panel, which can show you new announcements, assignments, and other information that's recently been posted to your courses. You can change what information you see and how long it stays up by using the Edit Notification Settings button. Let's go into this course. You can see that the navigation panel is still there. You can collapse this navigation panel up and down with this button here or you can collapse it side to side with this button here. Sometimes Blackboard will do that automatically and so you may come to a page and all of a sudden wonder what has happened to your navigation buttons. Don't panic, just click this little arrow and they'll reappear. Announcements still contain announcements. Your course information such as the syllabus and course policies will still be under information. Course content will still be in the content area. Assignments are a little bit different. If you've used the digital Dropbox in the past, that feature has gone away. It's been replaced by a new and improved assignment feature. To turn in work electronically using the assignment feature, you'll click the link to the assignment, and you'll see the instructions, perhaps a due date, and perhaps a file that the instructor wants you to download and work with. You have a field in which you can type comments, and then you can attach a file to turn into your instructor. I click Browse for Local File, select the file, and this is very, very important. I have to click the Attach File button in order to actually attach the file and turn it in. The instructor won't get the file unless I click the Attach File button. Now that I've done that, I see that this file is indeed attached. I can add some more comments to my instructor. I could save this as a draft and work on it later, or I can just go ahead and submit it. Once I submit it, I can see that this assignment allows me to submit more than once, so I see the Start New Submission button. Not all assignments will be set up this way, but it is a possibility. If I go into the Tools area and check my grades, I can see that this assignment has been turned in, but that it needs to be graded. Now let's look at the Discussion Board. The Discussion Board is very similar to what we've seen in the past. I see that there's two total posts. Two of them are unread. I click the link to enter the discussion board, and I can see that there's one thread, but I can create a second thread. I can save this post as a draft, or I can submit it for everyone to see. And now you can see that I have two threads. I can select more than one thread and then take action on those threads. I could mark them as read or unread. I could set a flag to say I think I'm going to come back to this later. Or I could even subscribe to it, which means that I will be notified by email when someone posts to my thread. Now this is the list view of threads. There is also a tree view. I look at the tree view and now I can expand this thread and I can see by the indent that Lakeland Student 1 has replied to the professor. I'm going to select both of these messages and I'm going to collect them all on one page so I can see the whole conversation. And so here is the original topic posted by the professor and then here's the first student's response and you'll see that he's quoted that response. I can also quote the first student and now in my response both the professor's original post the first student's post are quoted in my response. And again, I could save it as a draft or I can submit it for everyone to see. And now you can see that my response is here as a reply to the first student who replied to the professor. 
Now I did actually read this, so I'm going to mark this message as having been read, and now you see it shows that all of these messages have been read. So that's a brief overview of Blackboard 9, how to post in the discussion board, how to check your grades, and how to turn in an assignment electronically. <laughs>